Hey, what's up guys, I'm Vincent. Today, I'm going to show you how to master the cheap lane pass. All right, here we go. As you know that there are different passing series to pass the ball from your five bar to your three bar, like the brush pass or the stack pass. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the cheap lane pass, where it is a great option to your passing series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of the chip lane pass, the setup of this pass, and also share some execution tips so that you could do this pass properly. Before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. First of all, let's talk about the concept of the chip lane pass. So how does it look like? Basically, you want to bring the ball to your side. Now, when you are ready to do the pass, you toss the ball to the first guy. Now, when it comes close to this spot, as you can see that you are only hitting half of the surface area of the ball. Now, when you hit it, it will go to the lane pass. And that's the cheap lane pass. So what's the concept behind for this pass? Basically, when you are bringing the ball to your side, you want to make it look similar to your wall pass. When this motion is similar to your wall pass, you are trying to make your opponent jump to the wall. Now you could see that the lane is open. Instead of doing the wall pass, you can do the cheap lane pass. And now let's talk about the setup for this pass. It is not very difficult, you just want to remember a few points. First, you want to place the ball under your 5 bar, vertically under your 5 bar, next to the second guy on your 5 bar. Now you want to place the ball on the spot which is directly in front of the fourth guy of your opponent's 5 bar. So that it is a good indicator on where you should set up. Now, you are ready to do the chip lane pass. For the execution of the chip lane pass, there are a few points that you want to remember. First, you want to use the wall as an indicator. Basically, whenever you do the chip lane pass, you want the first guy of your 5 bar always come next to the wall so that you know where to pass the ball. Because some of the beginner are not sure where to do the chip lane pass, Sometimes they will simply do it on this spot, or this spot, or even, or even this spot. In other words, you cannot get the consistency to do this pass, so you have no idea where to catch the ball. And this is why whenever you toss the ball to your side, before the ball comes close to the first guy of your 5 bar, you want to bring your 5 bar all the way to the wall and wait for the ball to come over to this spot to do the pass. Something like this. You raise the ball to your side and do the pass. And this brings me to the second point. You want to make sure that you are hitting half of the surface area of the ball. Because if you are doing it in this spot, it is most likely end up a wall pass. Or if you are not hitting it properly, you are going to mis-execute the pass and block by the second guy of your opponent's 5 bar. So this is why you want to make sure that you are hitting half of the surface area of the ball. And you may question that it is quite difficult to get the ball to this spot all the time and hard to control whether you are hitting half of the surface area of the ball or not. And this is why you want to toss the ball slowly towards the first guy of your 5 bar. You just want to toss it slow, you do not need to do it fast. 
you don't want to end up a tech tech series you just want to toss the ball as slow as possible so that you are increasing the chance that you are hitting the ball properly and another advantage is that if you are tossing the ball slowly you are going to make your opponent to think more so it is most likely to affect his decision and he is going to jump his five far all the way to the wall and the lane is open for the chip lane pass and if you are doing the pass properly you are going to pass the ball on this spot of your opponent's five bar the best spot of his five bar in other words he cannot defend your pass with the fourth guy of your five bar because he cannot move over to this spot and he have to use the fifth guy of his five bar travel all the way from this position to this spot to defend your pass so it is more difficult to block your pass if you are doing everything properly you are going to expect to catch the ball somewhere around this area so make sure you catch the ball with this guy to complete the pass to learn more about how to catch the ball properly make sure you check out my other video on the top right corner now Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.